Greetings, performance reviews, where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I have a Titan T1400. This is not a Bissell Zing, but definitely a Clava product or one of those uh, products that comes from overseas. This one caught my attention due to its price and accessories. So we're going to unbox it, take a good look at it, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. If you're new to the channel, I do more in an unboxing than most people do in a review. First thing I'm going to mention is how small the box is. I have a Mila C3 I just set on top of it, and it is noticeably smaller than a Mila C3 is out of the box. So that means this is going to be a nice compact vacuum. We're joined by the dog. So let's go ahead, unbox this, test its suction, and see what we get in the box. All right, right away we are greeted with a chrome steel wand. It's pretty short, short. It's under a meter long. It's closer to a yard long. The thing that I'm most excited is it has a gulper tool, but I don't know if the gulper tool is genuine Vissel work. So we're going to check that out right away. And looking at the markings, it is a Vissel work knockoff. It is not a genuine Vissel work. So that is a little disappointing right there. All right, we have the hose. The hose is pretty short. Uh, it's under two meters. I'd say it's about five feet. We have, oh, wow, okay. A really nice dusting brush. That is an excellent dusting brush. It's like the rubber type, similar to what Kirby and Rainbow use. We have the typical Triceratops Eureka th tool holder. We have, oh. Okay, so these are like Sentec accessories. Uh, with this, we have a pack of paper bags. I'm gonna tell you right now, throw those away. Get yourself, and I'll put a link below, uh, some Bissell Zing HEPA bags. These will fit this, and it's gonna make the machine perform better. And you'll, you're gonna be overall a lot more happy using these HEPA bags. This is also the same bag as Recar Z. We have the machine and uh, looks like this actually came in that. That's pack material. And then we have a nice crevice tool, uh, hard plastic. So I'd say the accessories so far are good. Let's take a look at the machine. The machine is tiny. Again, very Bissell Zing size. Maybe even smaller than the Bissell Zing. We have... Uh, Made in China, we have one caster, rubber. Yep, rubber coating on all the wheels, that's good. We have a United States plug. We all, oh gosh, you know what this really reminds me of is the uh, Royal S15 series of canister back in the day. Because this has a HEPA filter right here. Gosh, I would be surprised that HEPA filter did not fit the Bissell Zing as well. A nice uh, slider that came on minimum, so make sure you move that to maximum. So, as I said earlier, so the bag dot comes out. Do not lose this bag dot because you will be SOL'd. Immediately replace it with something superior, like a HEPA bag, like so. You have a pre motor filter, a bag check indicator here. Looks like there's also a relief valve, and that pre motor filter just slides here. When you buy the bags, you can expect to get that pre-motor filter depending on the package you buy. Uh, and that bag will just tuck in there. All right, that's all excellent. This is everything that came in the box. You had one bag pre-installed in the machine, plus a three-pack, a manual, a nice dusting brush, a good upholstery tool, a crevice tool, a wand, and a hose are a little bit short, but they're included. You get a tool holder, and you get a Visselwork Gulper knockoff, and of course, the machine. Real quick, we're just gonna cover assembly. The hose is just gonna snap right in there. It swivels 360 degrees. It also swivels on this end. There's a suction relief valve there and a speed control here. This is going to fit on here. This tool holder, gosh, this is gonna struggle to fit on here because it's made for an inch and a quarter. So if you have the tool holder on board, Right here, it's not probably gonna fit on this section here. So you kind of lose your ability to telescope the wand, but the idea is that your tools all fit right here. You can also just leave that in the closet. The 
tool itself has a parking spot. Again, I really like that. So you can park it like so, or you can park it in the upright position. So that means storage of this is pretty good. Overall, I'm really pleased with everything you get here. Let's see if the numbers and the performance matches the accessories. So let's see how much working vacuum this little Titan gets. 45 inches of working vacuum is pretty good. We get about 80 inches sealed before the relief valve kicks in, which tells me we're probably getting a little bit more sealed suction than the relief valve will let us. Keep in mind, this is not a review. This is just an unboxing, but we are gonna do the sound test and pickup test portion of the video. So I've switched to a studio mic, so you're gonna hear the real sound of the machine running. I have extremely low pile carpet here. This is lower than most people's carpet in their house, but we're gonna see how it works with a little bit of sand, dog hair, cat litter, and breakfast cereal. Keep in mind, this is supposed to be a hard floor and area rug machine. This is not meant to clean this sort of stuff at all, but let's see how it does. machine's not overly loud, but it's definitely not as quiet as something like a Mila or a Pneumatic, but it's tolerable. As far as the pickup test goes, well, maybe there's a little bit of embedded sand left, but you picked up the cat litter of breakfast cereal, and even the dog hair are right. Again, that has to do with this being a knockoff of a very good notable floor tool in this carpet being so low, really, the animal hair doesn't stick to it. So don't expect this to clean your carpets at home, but this is just kind of an example of what it can do. All right, we've got that same mess on a hard floor. We have pet hair, cat litter, fine sand, and breakfast cereal. I have a Saltillo tile here, and that's really the reason you'd buy this, is to do a lot of hard floor. So let's give it a try. Well, and it picked everything up with ease as it should. So if you've got hard floor and area rugs and a small apartment to do, something like that, or you just want a vacuum to accommodate your full size upright, I think that's where this really shines. Plus they give you a decent set of onboard tools. Well, they're not onboard. Again, this not being a genuine this will work tool, this tool does have a problem, which is the squeegees are a little bit too long, so on uneven hard floor, it does that. Now we've seen this with a pneumatic knockoff. I've also seen this with another knockoff uh, Visselic tool. So that is the downside of this. Of course, this is a standard inch and a quarter fitting, so you can put a genuine one on here and run me that. And even for $30 at the price of this machine, it's probably worth doing. The cord is about 15 feet long. It's very, very short. Uh, but that, again, that's kind of to be expected in this price category, as copper is one of the more expensive things that goes into vacuum cleaners. Some things for longevity. The cord has a nice bumper, so when it hits in there, it's not putting too much stress on the cord. And it's clearly marked where the end of the cord is with yellow and red tape. The cord wheel is strong at first, but again, there's no counterweight. So going in, you might need some help the last six inches. Okay, the machine balances very nicely on stairs. They do give you some really nice attachments. So I've got some pet hair and some... Um, breakfast cereal, let's see how it does. Well, if you're doing a lot of pet hair and stairs, I would say you definitely want to get a turbo tool. I'll have a link in the description to a turbo tool that would remedy this situation. Uh, a lot of the hair does get stuck in the lint pickers. 
However, for big objects and fine dust, it's just fine. Just want to note the difference in wand length compared to a lot of vacuums. Uh, this is almost a foot shorter, a little bit over a decimeter shorter than most wands are on the market. I have just a Nilo wand for an example, and you can see just how short that is. This is a 6,000 series slash 8,000 series wand, if anybody's wondering. But it's quite a bit shorter, and that's so that it can fit in that small box. So if you are a taller person, you will find that you are bending down to use this. It really, it settles right around, right between my knee and my hip when I'm holding it. So at the end of my arm. So it's not the most comfortable machine to use if you're taller. Again, this is meant to accommodate an upright vacuum, used for quick pickups, and the budget category that this machine is in. We're going to go ahead and give it a pass, but just understand if you are above six foot tall, you will find this a little uncomfortable to use for its floor tasks. So should you buy a Titan T1400? So if you can live with the short wand and the short cord, plus they give you a decent set of accessories. For the price they're offering this machine, which is between 150 and 200 at the time of filming, it's rather decent. Now, is this exceptional quality? Is this a Mila or a Cebo or a pneumatic? No, of course not. This is a stopgap, or like I said, a machine that you're going to use sometimes. Some people have only one or two rooms with hard floor, and the rest they do with an upright. This is really a machine to accommodate those people, especially if you had something like a Kirby or an Auric. Well, you're gonna like this a lot. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if this helped you out. Uh, definitely subscribe. Now I'm gonna have a link below to this machine and the HEPA bags that I recommend as well. So hopefully that helps somebody out. Have yourself a wonderful day.